So this is Junior Roberts with realjuniorroberts.com. We're on to question six of the January 2016 physics past paper. So this is the final question of uh, the paper. Uh, I've done questions one through to five in earlier videos. So you can click in the description below and check out the complete playlist. So we're going to go right into question six without any further ado. So question A says, scientists use symbols when dealing with circuit diagrams in electricity. An electric circuit is displayed in figure seven. And here we have our electric circuit with um, a couple components, right? So if we scroll down, the question says, write a description of the circuit in the space provided. So first of all, let's sort of examine this circuit here. So here we have our circuit. We have a battery that is rated at three volts. We have a switch right here. We have a resistor, right? This is a special type of resistor, which is indicated by this arrow here. So this here is what we call a rheostat or a variable resistor. Here we have another resistor. In this case, this is a fixed resistor. And then across that fixed resistor, we have a measuring instrument, specifically a voltmeter. And then finally, we have an ammeter, right? So we have the switch, the rheostat, and the fixed resistor and the ammeter in a series arrangement and the voltmeter is connected across the fixed resistor. So the question is, is we are to write a description of the circuit and the space provided, right? So we can first say that uh, this is a series circuit containing a switch. Well, first of all, let's start with the battery. So we're going to say we have a three volt battery we have a switch, we have a rheostat, a fixed resistor, and an ammeter. So we're going to write an ammeter connected in series. Right? And we also have a voltmeter connected across the fixed resistor. Right? So we have um, list all the components. Well, first of all, we've uh, described the circuit as being a series circuit, and we list all the components that are in series. Right? So, pretty much, that would give us um, a description of the circuit, right? So, we have listed the components. Again, we've stated it as being a series um, connection, and we have also indicated that the voltmeter is connected parallel to the fixed resistor. So, let's move on. So, part B says, a physics class was given a circuit diagram as shown in figure 8. Use figure eight to answer the three questions posed to the class. So, if we go, part I says that given that the formula for the equivalent resistors of two resistors R1 and R2 in parallel is given as R, which is equivalent resistance, is equal to R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. And they want us to calculate the equivalent resistance across BC, which is this portion right here. So B and C. Right? So we're going to utilize this formula here and find the equivalent resistance. So if we say that R, which is our equivalent resistance, is equal to the product of R1 and R2 over the sum of R1 and R2. So let's write our formula. So R1 times R2 over R1 plus R2. Right? In this case, we're going to take this as R1. Right? And this is our R2. So R1, in our case, is 1 ohm. Right, multiplied by R2, which is 2 ohm. All right, this is 1 ohm times 2 ohms divided by 1 ohm plus 2 ohm. Right, 
So when we multiply one and two, we will get two ohm, right? And then when we add one ohm and two ohm, we're gonna get three ohm, right? So the equivalent resistance is two thirds of an ohm, which is equivalent to exactly 0 0.667 ohms, right? So that's our equivalent resistance for the uh, parallel branch between B and C. Now the question now wants us to calculate the current flowing in the closed circuit. Right, so if we look back at the circuit, we have a 12 volt power supply, we have a 3 ohm resistor in series with this parallel branch here, and then we have an ammeter at that is also in series with the resistors. So what we have done in part I was to actually calculate the equivalent resistance in this branch. So effectively what we can do then is we can replace this parallel branch with a single series resistor that has the same value or the same effect on the circuit as these two parallel resistors. So we can actually redraw the circuit. So I'm just going to do a quick sketch here of the new circuit. So again, we have our battery. All right, we have a switch. All right, and then we have a three ohm resistor, I said, a three ohm resistor that is in series with the parallel branch, All right, which is this parallel branch right here. And we have just found the resistance or the equivalent resistance of this parallel branch as 0 0.667 ohms. So we're going to replace the parallel branch with a single resistor. So we have our single resistor here. And again, this is 0 0.667. Right? And then finally, we have our ammeter. Right? And then we have our circuit completed. So since we're trying to find the current flowing in the closed loop or in the closed circuit, we're going to use Ohm's law, which says that I, the current flowing is equal to the potential difference of the circuit or the EMF of the circuit divided by the total resistance of the circuit. So we now need to actually determine the total resistance in the circuit. So since we have a series or we have two resistors in series, we know for resistors in series, the equivalent resistance R is equal to R1 plus R2. Right, so in this case, we have two resistors, which is 3 ohm and 0 0.667 ohm. So if we add 3 and 0 0.667, we get that our equivalent resistance is 3.667 ohm. Right, so we can use that information now to find the current flowing. So if we now take on um, the EMF of the circuit, which again, let's just double check, is 12 volt. That's the EMF. Alright, so 12 volts. Alright, so we will have 12 volts divided by 3.667 ohm. Alright, then if we pull on our calculator and we say 12 volts divided by 3.667, we get an answer of 3.2. 7, 2 amperes, right? And that would be the current that is flowing in the closed circuit. So let's move on. Now the final question says that when the current in B2 flows, what is the power dissipated in the 3 ohm resistor? So since we're trying to find power, we're going to use the formula for electrical power, which says that P is equal to I times V, right? Now, the question specifically wants us to look at the 3 ohm resistor, right? So, we're going to use an alternative formula for this formula, which is P is equal to I squared times R, right? Where I is the current flow through the resistor and R is the resistance of the resistor. So, again, we calculated I from before. And that was 3.272 amperes. So we'll have 3.272 amperes. And this will be squared multiplied by 
the resistance right in this case is the 3 ohm resistor so we're going to say 3 ohm right so again we're going to call on the services of our calculator and we'll say 3.272 uh, squared right multiplied by 3 and that gives us an answer of 32.12 watts right and that will be the answer for this question right again this was Junior Roberts with realjunioroberts.com if there was anything in this question that you wish to get further cl clarification on please post it below in comments and I'll do my best to clear up any misconceptions for you like this video if it was helpful click the subscribe and the bell notifications so you will never miss any of my new videos thank you for watching